So I recently bought a DRZ400S and uh, found the seat to be really uncomfortable and that's what kind of the, what's been echoed all over the internet. Uh, seat concepts I think makes a real nice seat from what I've been reading but it's two to three hundred dollars depending on what option you go with. So I happen to stumble across this gel pad that people are putting inside the seat, cutting out the foam then covering it with a half inch of this type of foam to finish it off. So I'm going to give this a go because it's about fifty dollars versus two or three hundred. So if all else fails, this project's a bust, then I can just buy a replacement. But these seats are really, really uncomfortable, so let's give it a go, see how it works. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is got staples around here. We've got to pull all these. I've got a few different hand tools. I'm just going to see what works best. Looks like a small screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver and a pair of pliers are going to work just fine. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got staples around here. We've got to pull all these. I've got a few different hand tools. I'm just going to see what works best. Looks like a small screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a pair of pliers are going to work just fine. Okay, I was not going to bore you with any of this, but I found that uh, there's some needle nose pliers with little ridges on them. Works a lot better. Just want to kind of get a hold of it all in one motion instead of prying with a screwdriver and then come back with pliers. So this works pretty good. All right, now all the staples are out. We just peel this off. One last staple there. So here's the part I need to be sure of. Um, where my ass usually sits, I find it's more towards the rear and sometimes into here. And this material Point seven zero inches. And it's nine and a half by nine and a half roughly. So I'm thinking somewhere right about in here. And the idea is I gotta remove this the foam so this will set flush in here when I'm done. And I have to make sure this material actually this material, this foam is thick enough where I could cut out that material have enough material to remove so this will fit in it so once I do those figures I'll get back to you in a few minutes okay so here's what I've come up with I'm going to use this position here um, what a lot of people do is they'll make a pattern transfer it to the seat uh, trace trace that pattern onto here and then kind of make vertical and horizontal cuts and then kind of pick and pull the foam out which leaves you very uh, uneven I would imagine. So what I'm going to try to do since this is very flat and relatively dense, I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to try to mark out the top and the bottom and then try a router on it. I'll set the router to the depth of this material and we'll see how that goes.
Okay, so 0.70, the, the, the thickness of this material turns out to be just under three quarter, about a half a sixteenth. I'm going to give this a try. I don't know how messy it's going to be if it's, if it's too messy. We're going to take it outside. Seems to be cutting real good, but it is going to be messy. I'm going to have to stabilize this thing a little bit. So I'm going to set this up outside, get this strap done somehow, and we'll uh, get back at it. Okay, so I've got it, uh, this board screwed to the sawhorses. Screw through the back here, three inch screw. Wasn't long enough up here, so I put a strap. Should be a good working platform. You get some earplugs and protection cord. Be right back with you. Okay, what's going on is this kind of like jumping, it's not moving smooth across the surface. So I'm going to try to do something about that before we continue. I found some thin metallic tape. Let's see if this doesn't help.
see how close we are. Pretty close, but we're gonna have to trim it up a little bit more. Electric knife. That's good. Let's go to the bench. So real quick before the battery dies, I just started to peel this stuff back. And it's very sticky. I've seen others put powder on here. I didn't understand why, but now I do. So while my battery is charging, I'll get some baby powder for that so I can work with it. Okay, now that that's done, out of the package, and got a little layer of talcum powder on there. And I just have to carefully go along and trim this to match the contour of the seat. Let's see how this stuff cuts. I have to play with this and get a technique now. Come back to you. Okay, razor knife doesn't work very well, but scissors seem to be doing the trick. So I just angle my scissors to follow the contour of the seat. And probably add some powder as I go. It's going to be the way. It's a pretty rough edge, but I look got enough over here. I can slide it over and re redo it and get my technique now. Yeah.
Okay, so after trying to cut this with a razor knife and and all that, this is what I've ended up with. It, I know it looks real choppy, but I was kind of using the scissors like this. Um, razor knife, it, it was too gummy for a razor knife to cut through. Um, the videos I've seen with seats that they use this, they're usually wider and they will cut out an insert and there'll be foam around the edges. To, and they would just cut this with scissors on the vertical. So I'm trying to do it at an angle and this is the best I can come up with. Now after I put that half inch foam around it and then the top, I don't think you'll be able to see this and I think it'll be okay. But this is what it's gonna look like as of right now. So right now I'm gonna clean this up, maybe put some new paper down and uh, get ready to put this foam covering over it. So I'll get that prepped and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I forgot to talk about where materials came from. This came on from Amazon, $33 delivered. This roll of foam, there's just a portion of it, Walmart for $12. And I'm gonna try this Gorilla Spray Adhesive. This is like six bucks at Walmart. That adhesive was a little messy, probably should have wore gloves. What a Look at it, it's leaking. Probably one shot can, not even Hitting the button. Thanks, Gorilla Gorilla. Oh, what a piece of shit. Alright, right in the garbage can with that. Alright, I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm just going to kind of strap this in place, maybe tape it up a little bit till it dries. So I spent just a few minutes. I believe this stuff dries quick. I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm getting impatient. I tried to ride this bike into work tomorrow.
And I'm just going to go and uh, trim this to the edge of the plastic. You get the idea. I'll spare you the details. Okay, so I just trimmed this off pretty quick. Uh, it took a few minutes. Be stuck on pretty good. Just try to put the cover back on. See how that works. Also wanted to point out once that top layer of foam went on, it kind of hid all those seams. So I'm kind of curious if any of that will stand out once this is stretched back on. If any of that's going to be visible, all those hacked up scissor marks I did. I don't think it will, so we'll see. The rest of this is going to be stretching and pulling and getting these staples in place. I'm going to use one of these and I would recommend these, but it's probably not completely necessary, but they're stainless steel. Stanley and they, of course, they fit this gun. And this is going to be subject to weather and things like that, so stainless might be a nice option. Also Amazon. We'll just keep doing that. So now I'm done stapling, but some of them didn't bury to the hub. So I'm just going to go along and 
make sure they're all smooth and, and deep. That's your brother-in-law's frame and hammer. <laughs> okay. So it's all done. Uh, so I can't see any of the chip marks because of that foam that was overlaid onto it. Feels nice and smooth. You can't feel them. You can't see them. It all looks good. Um, a couple things I noticed. Probably didn't pull that evenly. Got a little bit of a overlap there. And with the foam on top, I don't know if you can see it with this light, there's a little crease line here and here that used to be over here. But I think with the extra padding on it, I wasn't able to or didn't pull it tight enough to bring that back down into its original shape. But that might leave after time. Or maybe I might heat treat it with a, I don't know, an iron or something if it bothers me, but I don't think it will. So in all in all, I think it looks pretty good. Oh, I pulled these out. These back in. They were just kind of in my way earlier. Pretty good. And I'm gonna put that on the bike and take it for a ride. And yeah, I've got a little little wrinkle here. Let's see if I can pull that out. We've got these things in the way. I would pull them off, but it looks like they're riveted from the back side, so. Kind of late in the game to be worried about that. Good enough. Well, I just got back. I did about uh, 10 miles or so. Uh, maybe I'm being optimistic, but it feels markedly better than it did before. Can't really tell I did it unless you look real hard or know what you're looking for. So, I mean, 50 bucks. See how it goes. So far, so good. I'm happy with it.